a classic one is um, what are the mistakes I see beginners doing in property and by the way I'm in Bali a little bit red faced because I've just been around paddy, paddy fields for a two hour trek gorgeous okay one of the big mistakes I see people doing is going to see properties that cannot be bought discounted what is the point like you're totally wasting your time and time is your most, most valuable resource you're totally wasting the estate agent's time you're totally wasting the vendor's time nobody comes out of this situation happy what are you doing what you're doing is you're making yourself feel like you're a property, a property investor because you're kicking the goods it's a tar kicker you do not want to be a tar kicker do you that's that's not who you are or what you're setting to property to do you want to be efficient and then you want to pop out the other end financially free exploring the world or whatever is meaningful to you so don't do it people don't go see see the goods kick the goods unless you can definitely put an offer in so here's the maths 100 phone calls 100 to 125 phone calls 25 viewings 21 offers one or two deals why would you go and see a property unless you're sure you can offer in it why would you just go and see a property that someone's trying to sell wholesale when a uh, uh, retail whereas you're trying to buy wholesale i don't get the sense in that it's a big mistake you're wasting your time so what i want you to do is every single time the estate agent invites you to come see a property i want you to check out can you actually buy it at the price that you feel is appropriate for you uh, some of the sentences the phrases you might want to use is i don't want to waste your time I only want to come see property that I can buy. Um, it's being respectful to the estate agent, isn't it? So if you can use that kind of language and be like, look, I don't want to waste your time. Um, if an A1 value is 200,000, I'll be looking to put an offer in around the 140, maybe 130 mark, because obviously I need, I need the profit margin in it and I need um, the renovation costs and all the rest. So if they're going to say, no way, Susan, laugh you out, don't just say I'm so sorry and thank you so much for allowing me to not waste your time do you have anything with that kind of margin in it um, so it means what does it mean it means more phone calls more research more desk-based research where you feel you're not being a property property investor but actually you're being hugely efficient now, I used to buy one in five houses I, I, I went for why because I was a working mum I didn't have time you know I had homework and school dinners and all the rest to think about um, and so I needed to be highly efficient on the phone in order to be able to be highly efficient with my time because I had constraints on my time. So don't annoy your estate agents. Don't go see, kick the goods and be a tire kicker. Only go and see stuff that you can actually buy. And you figure that out on the phone. You're a real investor on the phone, not in person.